Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Imric campaign. And, uh, bloody greenskins. Well, I always say greenskins, because, you know, that's what they used to be called. Before they were called Black Crag, and before they were called Grimgore's Ard Boys. But, uh, Grimgore's Ard Boys, which is a great name for them, frankly. Uh, they've declared war on us now, haven't they? So, um... Yeah, we need to watch out for that. Uh, also, though, in bigger news, uh, well, bigger news, no one's watching this video. No one is. I know. You think you're watching it, but you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. Do you know how I know that? The DLC released uh, a few hours ago, so you're all playing it. You're all playing it. No one's here. No one's here. I'm talking to myself right now. That's true. Um, so there's that, but also, uh, yeah, it meant that the last episode that anyone watched... Anyone watched? We called uh, the dragon, which we then, um, you know, gave to Michaela. Not that there's a mechanic that supports that, but you know what? We know what you know what we did. Besides, I don't need to explain it to you. You're not watching, so uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, so Steve Harvey here. So I I compared him to Bruce Forsyth. I thought that was, you know, the kind of thing he was, or family entertainment. Uh, no, turns out he's actually a, a horrible misogynistic. Uh, homophobic, religious bigot. So, he can piss off, frankly. I'm not having him in my game. It's awful. Seriously, like, how? Only in America would he be a presenter on family TV. Like, in, in this age. I know, you know, the UK had some issues in the 70s. <laughs> some pretty big issues in the 70s with uh, very suspect entertainers. But, come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, Steve Harvey, go to hell. I know you believe in it. So, um, yeah. So that's that. So now... Open skies. No, not Sonny McFace. Sonny McSunface. That came in second. <gasps> it doesn't... We can't fit the N. Alright, it's one word. Sonny McSunface. There we go. Sonny McSunface. You're welcome. Uh, so that came in second in the poll. And, uh, yeah, I'm not having... I'm not having a surprise bigot. Uh, in there, although it's a very generic name, Steve Harvey, so, you know, that in itself was quite amusing, um, to have a dragon called Stephen, but still, you know, still, not having that, so Sunny McSunface it is, so Michaela is now riding Sunny McSunface, although, to be fair, right, more points for keeping it in favour of, you know, calling them Steve Harvey, is, uh, Sun Dragons are fabulous, so that would have wound him up, and, uh, also, uh, a woman, which he also disapproves of, it seems. So, you know. Well, he just disapproves of them, like, having man's jobs and things like that. So, screw that guy. He can he can go. Screw him. Okay? Terrible human being. So, uh, yeah, Sunny McSun face it is. So, set up an upgrade available. Boop. And, hang on a minute. No, we're not going to do that. I want to get this, don't I? Sea Dragon's teeth. I'm saying teeth. Because... I've still got, you know, green skin in me. Yeah. I'm so used to playing Grom the Paunch. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm no longer pronouncing T and H correctly. I'm just saying the F. Which is very silly. It's Dragon's Teeth, not Dragon's Teeth. Anyway, so Imbri's gonna head down there uh, for now. Mount Gunbad, we might have to get like a smaller force here. Um honestly getting Grom Peak might be useful, but we've already got this to tier three, so I don't feel so bad. Although, actually, there's the bright... Uh, hang on. Oh, we can't get Brightstone here. Oh, that's gutting. Okay, so we can't get... We can't get the unique building from Mount Gunbad. Uh, there's another building here, usually in Mount Gunbad, that's like a gold mine. Just It's another big, here's a ton of money thing, which is wonderful. But uh, we can't get that as high elves. So that's a bit of a pity. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so I might end up having to get a garrison here, frankly. Because... Um, the north is going to be a bit of a pickle. Because all this is, yeah, looking a bit sketchy. Although, on the plus side, uh, once we dealt with the greenskins, which might take all year, um, if we do just take all of these mountains, uh, it'll leave vampire counts as our neighbours. And vampire counts, they're not great when it comes to huge amounts of fire and magic. So it'll be pretty fun attacking them with Imric. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Alright, let's go with nothing. We're building nothing. Stop building things, Janet. You know what you're building. You know what you're going to be building, okay? Focus now. For, for, no, I know, no one's watching. It doesn't matter. Hi, Queen Kalida. Wants a trade agreement? We can trade. They've finally taken the Gashazar. This is wonderful. This is brilliant. This is really good. Finally, they are our neighbours. So I like that. 
Remove that haughty look from your face and listen carefully, Elf. We have important matters to discuss. That's what she sounds like, by the way. Spot on impression of uh, High Queen Kalida. Ah, oh, lovely. So how much money are we going to earn? So yeah, I just want to point out, Grimgore's Ard Boys, if you saw that, the balance of power is ridiculous. They have so many armies. I really hope they don't have a war active right now. I really hope they don't, because if that's without a war, as soon as I hit the war, oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. So, damage walls failure, lovely. Influence game, fine. Be the best. Uh, extra recruitment cost for all, all armies faction-wide. That's annoying, but... But... Recruit rank goes up, which is quite its quite good, to be honest. Um, especially if I'm just, you know, recruiting quite cheap units anyway. That come in handy. So, a recent clutch of reports regarding ill-discipline in the lower ranks is cause for concern. Clearly, clods are being hired. This has to stop. Recruitment costs have risen accordingly, but new recruits begin two ranks higher. See, this is where I find the writing can be a bit inconsistent in this game, which I think is a bit sad. Um, it's, like, a lot of the time, you get a... Like, you'll get something that's sort of, um... Obviously, there's a lot of fluff here, right? This is all fluff. This is all, like, in the context of the game, right? Of the game world. Whereas, this is game mechanics. And usually, they're split by a paragraph. But this time, it's not. And so, that bothers me. It feels like it's all the same thing, and it's a very strange shift in tone. It's like when you have a tutorial, and, uh, you know, just... You have people being like, Oh, to help kill the meat morps, press the X button. And you're like, why is an NPC telling me to press, the, telling my character to press the X button? That makes no sense. But, you know, it's like that. It's just, it, like, are you selling me on the world or not? Like, is this a world that you're creating or a game that you're creating? You know what I mean? It's just, keep the immersion. Keep the immersion coming, guys. Anyway, so that's just me moaning about things, as usual. It's fine, no one's here to listen to me moan, so... Uh, I did want to build walls there, but I accidentally spent all my money, so I guess I'll build them later. I guess I'll do that. Uh, we've got so far to travel here. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go into March Stance, even though that's a little bit risky. Oh, it looks like there's a big battle here. That's probably what led to, um, to the death of the dwarves. Although, possibly this one too. That, even more casualties. Lot of dead dwarfs. It's nice to see the dwarfs put up a fight, though. Uh, and there. Yeah, wow. Okay. The dwarfs definitely put up a fight. At least three epic battles. Although you do get those, um... You do get these show up a lot more with ultra unit sizes, I'm pretty sure. It definitely seems to be the case. I don't think the number of casualties required for one of those things to show up... Uh, changes with unit size... Um, I mean, I don't think so. I'm not so, I'm not actually certain, but I don't think it changes. Um, but anyway, let's crack on. Oh, okay. Ally declares war. Uh, Court of Libaris are declaring war on the Silver Host. Didn't you just get peace with them? I guess we have gone through a lot of turns trying to climb up those mountains. So, um, yeah, sure. Sure, so we'll be at war with Silver Host now. Hang on a minute, are you still at war with, uh, Krokgar? <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't actually know you could sort of sidle along that. I had no idea. I thought you had to use the sea to travel across there. That's that's novel. <laughs> oh well. Okay, more influence. Lovely. Lovely. Love me some influence. Crookback Mountain. What have you got for me? You know what? Let's get the walls out of the way. Mount Gunbad needs to be able to look after itself. Its garrison is... It doesn't count, frankly. It, it's pathetic. Although, look at them being all happy. Oh, that's because Imrik's still here. Yeah, never mind. Boundless Courage. I hope you do have Boundless Courage. I hope you have Boundless Breath Attacks and all the rest of it. Um, I want Imric to kill everything, is what I'm getting at. I want him to not get killed by Orcs. Uh, let's go with the Colonnade in Crookback Mountain. You know what, actually? Mm, We've got a garrison here now. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, corruption is going. It is, it is going down. So that will help us a lot. And... Uh, okay, buildings aren't contributing that much, but we're still going to just sit there for quite some time, I think. Um, because we can't afford to really move anywhere, because we're further away from this too, and this needs protection as well. Although, Ashridge Mountains, you know, they are walled in, so that is that is something for them. 
I'm just I'm just amazed that this is like max level and this is max level and like that is the garrison. Uh, high elves have got like very good garrisons, but very small, which I guess fits them, you know, pretty damn well to be honest. But uh, still, still, it's um, precarious. It's precarious. Um, oh, okay. So these guys that we're now at war with. Oh, Lami is still there. Okay, yeah, Lami is there. Um, so I wonder, are you still at war? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Court of Libaris is still at war with, with uh, Last Defenders. So I just decided, oh, well, maybe I can take Lamia. That will be fun. But yeah, this is going to be bizarre. It feels strange playing both sides of the field. You know what I mean? Very strange. Very strange indeed. Warriors. Um, warriors. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's end the turn. Hello. No, I'm not going to join war with my trade partners. My only trade partners. I don't have any options for trade, so I'm hanging on to him. Go, King Rahobi. I like the I like the name of Rahobi. It's very fun. <laughs> Prince Patrice. Patrice. It sounds like he's spitting. Frankly, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's pronounced uh, Prince Patui. That's what we're going with. Light Ithalmar armor. Lovely. So more armor for spearmen, archers, lord and sea guards, shadow warriors, shadow walkers, rangers, silver and garden, the sisters of Avalon. It's quite a few. Uh, Ithalmar is an unusual substance in that it offers full protection, but without the encumbrance of a full suit of plate armor. God, those elves, they know how to armor. Um, a wise move, my lord. A severe aspect demands respect. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Good job, Ellen. Dragon sighted. We have another dragon. Excellent. We will be doing that one today, hopefully. Uh, oh, oh, Webbles. There's some Webbles here. They might actually take that. Actually, is that Webbles? I think that's Webbles. Oh, it's a Silver Host. That's actually the Silver Host. Yeah, okay. I like their flag. Their flag's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, doop -a -doop -a -doo. oh, there's a dragon. Uh, that's annoying, because that's a bit of a... It's a... Hmm. I have to kind of go out of the way for that one. Slightly, but I can't really pass it up, can I? So tell you what, um, it'll take a couple turns regardless. So what I'm going to do? Oh my god, moving out of here is bad. So slow. That's as far as I can move, huh? I want to go into encamp stance at the end of this because I want to attack uh, this this guy. I want to do this now. We're going to do it now, guys. So through its herald, you have issued a challenge of battle to brew war. Protector of life. The ancient forest struck my dog's angry again at something. Could be a postman. Could be a postman. She's been barking a lot lately. Like a lot. I think it's just because it's summer. People are outside again. You know? You know, people walking past in the road and things. Which just hasn't really been the case uh, before. It's quite a sleepy, sleepy road I'm in, so... Anyway, uh, through its herald, you have issued a challenge of battle to war, protector of life, the ancient forest dragon, and its attendants shall fight without mercy to test our strength. Um, cool. Cool. So, armor-piercing weapon damage, and armor-piercing missile damage for all armies. That's some pretty beefy buffs right there. Can't wait to get that. Extra armor and melee, like, 12 melee defense is an insane buff, and the armor's huge, like, ugh. God, it's just beautiful. Emmerich's got it's, he's just gonna have the best stats in the world. I can't wait. I can't wait at all. He's gonna be like uh Archaon, you know. Fully buffed and terrifying. I do I do want to try and get the Sword of Cain at some point in this campaign. It's gonna take some time. But I would like to see what happens when we give him the Sword of Cain once he's got all of his buffs and things, because that'd be hilarious. Uh although that would mean dropping the Star Lance, wouldn't it? Which is sad. I don't really want to drop that. Also, I I'd feel bad for his dragon. I don't want him to get corrupted. Grow an extra head. Because him and the other head might not get on. And that's sad. Anyway, we're going to teleport and do this thing. Cool. So, uh, as you can see, bunch of wood elves. Um, helping out this guy. Bunch of uh, things that are weak to fire. <gasps> we don't have fire damage on everybody anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I've spent money to teleport. So, I'm not going to back out now. We'll just have to do this... Um, I mean, it'd be really straightforward anyway. I mean, we've got 
We got the banner eternal flame. Tell you what, let's give that to our archers. There we go. Let's actually give it to them. I know they have fire damage already, but they're going to be in the middle of the group, so everyone else will get fire damage too, uh, which is cool. Or I could be, I could game it a little bit and have these guys on the side, and then give this to whoever will be in the middle, so we actually get an additional unit out of it. So let's do that. Let's do that. That should do it. Cool. Um, actually, I, mm, I go one over. I go one over. I mean, I can rearrange it in combat. It doesn't matter. Okay, so, uh, bounce power thing. Let's do the stuff. Brilliant. All right, then. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but the camera settings saved. Oh! <gasps> That's amazing! I didn't even know we had a new build! That's so strange. Okay, I don't know how that's suddenly fixed. That's super weird. Uh, but amazing. But amazing. Also, is it me or does the water look better on this map than it used to? Because water on a lot of the maps looks a bit weird at the moment. Um, but this looks a lot smoother. Because, yeah, from that last patch when this stuff changed, it seemed like they were going to... Um, be changing how water worked quite a bit. Although what's novel is it seems to be different from map to map. They seem to be using several different water technologies in this game. Um, I guess it's not something they can change all at once, given the fact that it's... Um, I guess the original water is like added as like a, a, the same way land is or something. It could be like, it has to be a texture that's applied to something, so the maps need editing. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But the water looks amazing. The reflections and everything. I love it. Uh, and you're not getting the weird shiftiness on the edges. You know what I mean? There was like a weird thing on the edges of water that still persists in some maps. Which is super weird. I'm getting very distracted today. I'm getting very distracted. Although, don't I always? Yeah. Yeah, we do. I'm going to put them on that side. And, yeah, I'll put them on that side. It'll be, it'll be on our left. Won't have, um won't have fire, which is fine. And, oh, it'll only be when we start the start the battle that that'll apply, I think. That's fine. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have them there too. Uh, tell you what, actually, let's, let's shove them in the middle. And you are going to go on this edge. Okay. All you guys exist. That's fine. Uh, Dragon Princes! You guys can go in the trees. I guess I'll put you on this side, actually. We've got the Dragon Prince on the other. And yeah, this'll do. This'll do. They should be further back than that, but... I'm being sloppy with my position. Okay. So, yeah, let's get our... Let's get our dragons together, I think. Uh, I could go straight for the dragon and fight it in the sky. But... I mean, that would be a bit... Sad, really. I think if I did that. Uh, oof. We don't have much magic right now, do we? Very low magic. Hmm. I wonder. Are the eagles going to keep chasing, or are they going to land? I kind of want the eagles to land. Ah, there we go. There we go. Excellent. Let's get rid of them, too. Uh, Dragon Princess. Yeah, one of you needs to come out here and deal with him. Oh, hello. Pardon me. Hello, you. Uh, let's uh, start doing some buffs. And debuffs. And... I mean, all the things. Let's just... Let's mess them up. Let's mess them right up. Archers! Alright, where, where are you at? There you are. Hello, select you. Thank you. And... Alright, you getting that? Uh, I mean, these guys are struggling a bit, I feel. But, doing alright. And now, I can afford a uh, flaming sword. Good. Good. Good stuff. And, yeah, Brewer's getting just trounced right now. Okay. Uh, this will probably hit a load of my own guys. It's fine. Alright, you go for those Deepwood Scouts. We'll just charge into the back. It'll be fine. 
Uh, and yeah, you go for those tree kin. You can all go for those tree kin. Let's put you on guard mode so you can uh, stick around. Yeah, this guy's getting absolutely wrecked. It's kind of impressive how much we're slaughtering that guy. You dead? You dead yet? Mostly. And uh, let's hit him with one of those. Good. Uh, you guys, back off, please. Uh, you go for them now. Thanks. And uh, we're going to push them towards our guys. If we go this way. Alright, how are you not doing? Alright, there we go. Roar is dead. Uh, yeah, they're going to get killed very quickly. Okay, good. Now let's... Uh, oh, let's kill this dragon. He's doing terribly. Good. Uh, I don't know, try and whittle them down. Uh, tail guard are going. Uh, there's enemy reinforcements approaching. We've already defeated the sort of the boss. <laughs> so, not sure what the plan is here. That tree man is getting killed. Take that, Treeman. Okay, good. I guess you guys can get stuck in over there. Imric's chilling. Uh, and and where, where are the enemies at? They're around. Okay. Good. And you know what? You get back up in the sky. And you start whittling down these Hawk Riders. Ooh, ooh, crafty. Very crafty there. Uh, we never used the dragon horn. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to just hit them with the arcane unforging thing, because I can. There's really no need for it. Uh, Sisters of Thorn back there. Which is interesting. Let's get another one of these in. Oh, oh, they're all coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. Sorry, fellow elves, but um, just thought this would be funny. <laughs> so that's happening. Sorry, sorry, boys. Sorry. I suppose you got you lot should do something, huh? Let's just get in there. Do whatever you like. Uh, you lot, I guess, can line up over here and get these in. And yeah, spearmen and. Rangers, you've done your bit. Ow! I have a spellcaster in here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. That's him. That's him. Branch right in there, too. Probably not for long. Probably not for long. <laughs> uh, uh, get some magic damage in there, too, because... Uh, Oh, it's this Thorner over there. My bad. Uh, it's hard to see. So... Uh, you can take Sister Thorn, maybe. You're not going to reach him. Oh, hello, Hawk Riders. Hello. Yeah, hard to, hard to know what's happening here. Uh, do you want to use... I don't know. I don't know what you want to use. It's hard to tell. More fire arrows incoming. Lovely. Oh, yeah, they're running away. Is that that, is it? Oh, his army lost his... Cool. Well, that was very fancy. Uh, I hate fighting in trees like this, though. Very annoying. Very annoying. But, uh, yeah, did the job. Our dragons barely took a scratch. In fact... Do you want to get a thousand health back? <laughs> Thanks. All right, I'll just sit here and let him heal. Do-do-do-do-do. Ready? You done? Come on. Let's just have a look. It is all beautiful. Ah, oh, love it, love it. I don't know why I'm zooming in like this. We got uh, we got cinematics in this uh, in this battle. That's right, all the quest battles, guys. I do take the time. So that'll do. Close victory. Lovely. Okay, good stuff. So Bruar, protector of life, didn't protect much life, did he? No, no got trounced. Uh, so, also, I didn't check to see if that um, 
that replenishment thing, that regeneration thing he's got, actually affects the whole army or just him? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it, it doesn't matter. He's dead. He died real quick. Although not properly dead. We will, we will still somehow recruit him. So, you know... He died, but he got better. Uh, forced labor, because we need the replenishment when we teleport back. And uh, yeah, we're going to have Bruar, Protector of Life, which is lovely. So let's do that. Wonderful. And of course, we're going to get the uh, armor piercing weapon damage plus 20 for all armies. Wow. That's disgusting. Look at that. Armor piercing spearmen are now, basically. 27 armor piercing damage. <laughs> Oh, 20 turns. We need to make use of this. I did say she's not moving out, but she's moving out. I mean, look at that. Oh, amazing. Okay. Uh, well, Spearman, get out of here. And Jesus, 70. Uh, wow. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, Bruar, you're coming in here, all right? You're, you're getting in here. So, what's your beef? What's your deal? S uh, soporific breath. Lovely. Um, Anti-infantry, uh, which is cool. He's got magic and poison damage, which is very nice too. Uh, yeah, really cool. Seems interesting. Cause a terror, of course. You know, he can hide in forests. How does that work? Can he still hide if he's in the air? Huh. No idea. No idea. Uh, also, he's immune to Athalorin um, attrition. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Probably, probably not going to be in Athalorin for some time. Uh, right, and we've got the Vine Dragon Scale, which is a very nice hex. So, um, who should we give that to? I feel like we should give it to give it to um, this one, uh, Ellen, <laughs> as I've been calling her. And, of course, Imrik has got a bunch of buffs as well. So, basic armor, Vine Dragon Scale. I mean, minus 24 melee defense is huge. Oh, that will mean getting her into combat, which is a problem. Oh, my God, we can give the Moon Touch Spear as well. Yes, yes. You're getting all the toys now, okay? We're, we're going to get her stuck in. It's going to be wild. And yes, Imrik, you loiter there for a second. I want I want some replenishment. And then uh, we'll go meet uh, the other dragon. Although actually, I think we're better to go attack Mount Squighorn and go back for that later. Um, actually, just because we can keep the momentum going, we'll get more replenishment from conquering stuff than we would stood there, frankly. So, uh, level 24 now. Go old Michaela and Sunny McSunface. Love it. Uh, Earthing, I guess. There's not much else to do, really. Uh, magic resistance, maybe. I mean, Flamestorm is fun and everything, but it's so, so random uh, where it goes. Although, it could be fun to just have that, um, just do that behind walls, you know. People are defending the gates to hit them with the Flamestorm. Because it'll bounce off the walls, so it'll never go, like, into the gates if the gates are open and we're, we're fighting them. So, Flamestorm could do well, and it does look awesome. So, yeah, for that reason, I think we should uh, we should continue. And yeah, we'll go to Mount Squeakhorn in a second. Yeah, cool. That's what we're going to do. Although, now I'm thinking maybe forget the replenishment, and we just continue to move there so we can guarantee that we get it next turn. Maybe that's the way to do it. I just can't believe the damage of those guys. I wish we could get that buff more often. I wish there was a right that did that. Although saying that, we do have the uh, Invocation of Eldrazor, which puts up melee attack for uh, for Dragon Princes and such. And Armor Piercing goes up. And Dragons as well. So, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Oh, also this would be good to get. This would be really good. I'll try and remember to get this next turn. You know me, I always forget. Crookback Mountain! What have you got? Uh, yeah, actually I think now is probably the time to start upgrading settlements. Let's start with Flayed Rock. Always want to start with the biggest ones. They take the longest to do. We'll put that entertainment building up because that earns us a bit of money. And also, how much are we getting for trade? 2,400 now. 2,400 just with two quite rubbish trade partners. All right, saying that, saying that, last defenders are doing quite well down here, which is nice. Um, I really want to see where the heck greenskins are. I'm not seeing any of them anywhere. It's bizarre. Very strange. Master of magic. All right, now you go way too ambitiously out there. I want to try and get to Black Crag and get that gold mine. Okay, we've got 20 turns to go and get it, okay? We've got 20 turns to go and get it. That's the plan. I could take the Black Iron Mine as well, but it'll probably rebel quite quickly. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go for Black Crag anyway. All right, cool. Research available. Um, extra missile strength for all our archers. Might as well. 
Yeah, that'll do. I was going to go shredding talons, I think, but I'll I'll hold off on that because uh, our uh, war lions are already super overpowered thanks to that armor piercing buff. So you know they're going to do fine. Also, what is the bonus versus infantry? Ten. So they got forty melee attack against infantry essentially. And I wanted the armor piercing for black orc killing. And black orcs have pretty crappy melee defense, so we should be fine. All right, let's crack on. All right, so. We can take Mount Squighorn in a second. Uh, I might sack this on the way past, but... Hmm. Yeah, I just... It's just so close, right? But it's also kind of pointless. Because it'll probably just get taken, like, very quickly. But, screw it. It'll... It'll... It'll, it'll hit them. So, that's fine. Oh, they have an Orc Shaman and a Goblin Big Boss in the settlement. That's interesting. Old Nobber One Finger. Let's, uh... Should we mess him up? Should we mess him up? I kind of want to fight, just so we can see the uh, the war lions magic. doing stuff. And we can have a little look at um, the war as well. We need not fear our lessons. Okay, so, our war lions. They're so cool. I, I love the look of them. I think they look amazing. Just really cool. Genuinely fantastic looking. Absolutely love it. Ah. Oh. Really cool addition. Which you guys all know already. You're all playing with them now. You know. That's why no one's watching this. No, no. All alone again. I'm all alone again, guys. Yep, yep. Nah, I'm kidding. It's uh, it's great that, uh, that you guys get to play it now. It's always weird playing in early access because uh, it's just bizarre. It's just a bizarre experience being like one of the only ones playing it. I know, woe is me, right? Early access. It's great. I mean, I love it, but it's also kind of weird because obviously I'm, uh, like, most of the stuff that I publish um, was recorded before stuff was common knowledge. You know, before stuff had done the rounds, so I just end up just sat here getting corrected on every new game mechanic because I'm trying to show them off and explore them. <laughs> it's really weird. It's a very surreal experience, you know? You know, a bunch of people who who can't play it saying, uh, is this? It's like, oh, I'm fine. All right, great. Whatever. I don't know. This is new to me, too. Newer, in fact. Because, you know, this isn't a live stream. It's recorded in advance. Anyway, I find it very amusing, but it's a very surreal experience. So, uh, you guys get to flank in. So the wall lines are quite squishy, so they're great flanking uh, troops. They're nice and quick, too. So, they're sort of great to use as cavalry if there aren't, like, if there isn't any enemy cavalry. If there is, then that's a problem, <laughs> basically. And, you know, I want to gobble them up with lions, so I'm not even going to, I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to buff those spearmen so they don't die immediately. So, you go for uh, Nobber. You go for old Nobber there, and uh, you guys can charge in over this side. Ha, <laughs> lions. Oh, they're so cool. Go, war kitty. Look at that one, he was eager. Good war kitty. Good. <gasps> it's the war. Quick, mess them up. Hooray. Also, they will be overperforming, you know, given the fact that they're... <laughs> They've got plus 20 armor-piercing damage. You know, that's a bit of a... a bit of a funny one, that. Uh, also, let's uh, let's lower the melee defense. That could be fun. That's a neat trick. Not the best range. She really does have to get stuck in, doesn't she? Oh, they're shattered. Okay, you're unbreakable or something. No, just... Doesn't want to break, I guess doesn't want to break. Ready, wonderful. Get them, boys. Oh, oh. Oh, no, it changes mine. Oh, war kitties. They look amazing. They're really well animated. They look fantastic. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Love them. Uh, cool, so that's a thing. Hang on. Oh, now, now it's done. So I'm pretty sure we've won. Why haven't you told me that I can leave. It's fine. Magic guide us. 
Okay, so there goes Nobber, one finger. And I'm actually I'm actually gonna take this. Even if it's just gonna sit there for a bit. That's fine. Oh my god, Spike Peak has the plague. We need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I could put Burning Head up again. Cascading Fire Cloak. Get on the level. That'd be good. It's very good. Cascading Fire Cloak. Nice one to spam. Uh, we also need to get Militia Master up. Because, yeah, she has no buffs yet. So we'll, we'll start, start working on that. Make sure our front line is going to be, you know, nice and sturdy. Um, and it Mount Squighorn. I don't know where strikes. all the... All the all Grim Ghoul's Art Boys are. Seems very strange. Haven't seen any yet. So, weird they declared war on me when they had nobody nearby. Let's start building walls there. Because it will be difficult fighting in this terrain against Greenskins, because they'll just hop over all the mountains. You know, they have the underway stance, so they can get around so much more easily. It's going to be very difficult. Um, but, I mean, any any enemy we encounter, we can kill. Like, there's no stopping us once we're in a fight. So, let's have a look. What do we want now? Do we want to start buffing Imric? That could be good. And Merchant Lord is actually useful now. It's actually, you know, there's a point to it. Um, hmm. See, now with this army, right, Lightning Strike is very useful, but I don't want it. I don't want it on Imric. I want Imric to be fighting, like, three stacks at a time. You know? Because that'll just be so fun. Like, it won't be the best way to play it, but it'll be the most fun. So I'm going with that. So forget Lightning Strike. I'm, I'm going all in with uh, making Imric an absolute beast. And uh, the rest of his army already is, so, you know, it's fine. I know, it's just like Spearman and Rangers and Archers. It doesn't matter, he's cleaning up. You know? There's a few dragons in his army, you might have noticed. Uh, Flamestorm. Let's do that some more. Cool. And yeah, we'll get a bit of replenishment. And let's get a little bit more. Ah, oh, that feels good. Good stuff. So, you replenish, and then you take Pillars of Grungni. Lose almost nobody. Stay there for a turn. You know, more replenishment. Go to Kalazakarak. Should be good. And I'll probably recruit another Lord just here to walk around the corner and take it. <laughs> I'll just get Arathond to do it. You remember Arathond, I'm sure. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, this place is getting a bit unhappy. It's getting a bit unhappy now that I've wandered off, but I'm not wasting those buffs from Brewer. Although he's a bit unhappy too. Now, can you not be unhappy, please? Could you cheer up? Um, oh, they will. They'll cheer up once this is built. We're fine. We're fine. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's end the turn. That's a neat trick. Okay, it's been a confederation. Yatain and Ivress. Uh, so, yeah, we've been ignoring this completely. We've been neglecting it somewhat. But, um, I mean, it's just sat here earning a bit of cash. Slowly being unhappier and unhappier. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine by me. They're doing a great job. Uh, although we can upgrade Volzanvil, so getting a Citadel doesn't sound like a bad idea. Get a couple more building slots. And uh, that could be useful. And get some iron. Get some iron going here, which would be good. Um, so, yeah, we should do that. We should do that. So let's do one of the battles and we'll come back to this. So, uh... Whee! You may look upon me. <laughs> you may look upon me. How arrogant do you have to be to give people permission to look at you? <laughs> I mean, that is taking it to a whole new level of arrogance. Only an elf could pull off that level of, you know, douchebaggery. Seriously, can you imagine trying to be friends with this guy? Just be awful. Ugh, what a disgusting person. But also, uh, you know, pretty magnificent all the same. So, uh, yeah, we've no need fighting this. I think that would be a bit too easy somehow. Another banner of the internal flame. Ooh, can we equip a couple of those? That could be cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are all quite good. I'm actually going to get rid of the banner of Illyrian, I think. And yep. Two banners of the Eternal Flame. Oh, that's amazing. We can have one of the front line, one of the back line. So even if we don't have the right going, we'll have plenty of additional fire that can exploit. And that, that feels cool. That feels like... It doesn't feel cheaty. You know, that feels like a really sensible, interesting way to sort of make use of Ashen Fields. You know? And then the gaps we can fill in with, um... Uh, with, uh, uh... 
Flaming Sword of Ruin. It'd be really cool. Uh, right, so Devastating Charge. I mean, I feel like he does need to have charge over 100 or else what's the point, you know? What, what's even the point? So let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, God. I just want to get all of this and just see how high these stats can be. Because he's an absolute dragon monster. And, like, you know, we'll do another dragon hunt and we'll get even more uh, stats, which would be amazing. You know, even more stat bonuses for doing that. Uh, so, Mount Greyhag could be done. Uh, no, 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 Janet. You, you seem to be forgetting something. Boop. Good job, Janet. Good job. No, nope, down here, please. Uh, you. You there. Azurian, take them. Aha. Here's a Grimgore. I found a Grimgore. Luckily, he's not wiring out right now. Um, so that's good. But I kind of want him to hop over here and try and attack us. Because I reckon she can take him. Though, I also want to make sure that I defeat Grimgore with Imric. Though, it's going to take so long to get through all of his territory. Uh, that, yeah, 21 settlements. We will definitely be fighting him again. There's no way we won't be fighting Grimgore another time. So, that's cool. But seriously, what is up with the, all the goblin? Uh, like, just a bunch of... Just, it's all goblins. What? Where are all your Blackhawks, mate? That's strange. That's a weird army to see. Especially on turn 68. That's super weird. Also, notice how, like, we only have this area. And it's turn 68. It just takes so long to traipse about this place. It's ridiculous. Um, but hey, you know, slow and steady wins the campaign. That's what they say. That's what they say, guys. Uh, right. Let's crack on. Hmm. Non-aggression pact with a despicable dwarf who hoards dragon's gold. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. Call me crazy. I'm gonna say no to that one. Except now we know he's there. <laughs> You better watch it. Confederation with Nagavond and Hargareth. That does not make much of a difference to me. You carry on. Carry on amongst yourselves. And now where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. I don't see him. I guess we'll go take Kaleza Karak. And uh, we'll come back for Grim Gore then. Works for me. Okay, what we got here? Flamestorm. Flamestorm. Excellent. Uh... Where did we get to 19 out of 20? Oh, that was ages ago. We lost a unit of spears, didn't we? That's fine. I wanted to get they dragon princes. Nothing. More dragon princes. So, Karaz Karak. I decree death. I decree death. <laughs> He's so good. Uh, right. Uh, you know, saying... Uh, you may as well walk into the room and go, Congratulations, it's me. Um, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna kill these guys. Um, I kinda wanna, I'll fight it just cause it's Karaz Karak, but also, this sucks. It's just so bad. Gosbag Troll Eater. Mate, you, you know nothing about eating trolls. I'll tell you that much. Um, ah, oh god, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Do we fight it just cause it's Karaz Karak? Probably not. Probably not, it'd be too easy. It's a shame, it's a shame. Because this army makes most battles a bit too easy. Uh, that's why I don't like spamming like super powerful units. It's just it gets boring. Like I don't want to auto resolve, you may look and I don't want you guys to have to watch me just auto resolve a bunch of stuff. But you know, also it's a bit pointless when I can win most of the battles with a fraction of my army. Just uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I want to spread things out a bit, uh, especially at the moment with the ludicrous buffs we've got. I bring but, still. Fire. Uh, it's my desire. My desire. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, you said fire. Uh, right. Let's do that. Kalazakarak. You need your, you need your gem shafts, mate. Get your gem shafts. Oh, what's he playing at? Silly Kalazakarak. I'm talking about a town, like a city, like it's a guy. It's not a guy. <laughs> it's not a guy, Janet. It's a Karak. So what are you doing here, huh? What are you doing here, Blorg? Get wrencher. Just sat here with a with Snaz Squid Fiddler. <laughs> the troll names are the best. How can you not love the troll names? Snaz Squid Fiddler. Leave the squids alone. You creep. You absolute creep. Uh, also, uh, Raguk Dribblechin. Dribblechin's a pretty fantastic surname. I feel like they've added a bunch more names with the green skin rework, and I appreciate it so much. Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. 
Yeah, and do I do I get a little army here? Do I get a little army here? Do I get Erethond back? Do I do that? Do I get Erethond over here to try and help? Or do I just get uh, someone who doesn't suck? Uh, gotta be fire. Gotta be fire. Uh, there it is. Law of fire. And, oh, another negator. So cool. And that is guardian. Yeah. You know what? I think we'll re-roll. We'll have another look next turn. Yeah. We'll have another look next turn. Because we're still well ahead of this guy. If he attacks us, like, doesn't matter. We're fine. Um... But for now, for now. Okay. Commandment available. Oh! Wild. This probably won't last. This probably won't last. But that's okay. Let's go with... Growth. I need to level up Karazza Karak, because... Yeah, tier 2. It's quite... It's quite sad. It's quite sad for such a mighty hold. But, uh, you know, let's stop... Let's stop respecting dwarfs for a minute. I lost myself there, so respecting a dwarf. <laughs> uh, silly me. See, here he is. I told you that wouldn't last. The uh, yeah, you go ahead, mate. You can have it. You can have it. Oh, he didn't want it. <laughs> well, that's just... That's the best thing he could have done, frankly. Because there's no way he can fight us, so we're just going to take it back. Um, so, yeah, crafty. We like, weirdly crafty. Although it's probably not so much him being crafty as getting a bit carried away. Because, you know, it's Grimgore. He probably just, like, ran through the buildings by accident. So, you know. What's Morglum doing up here? What are you doing raiding my territory? That's rude. That won't do. Uh, so, we lost Mount Squighorn. They failed to steal our technology. That's good. Beastmen are now at war with us. Oh, God. Does that mean the beastmen are here? Oh, that's not good. That's a problem. Uh, oh, great. All major port owners. That would be great for trade. Ugh. Although saying that, um, we do have a direct route through here now. So what we actually need to do is declare war on these stupid humans um, on the border princes here. And and take uh, Barak Var. And we can actually start trading with absolutely everybody. So it's not taking as long as I thought it would. But still, like it's kind of ridiculous. You have to go all this way. You have to conquer all this stuff. Oh, we don't have direct route because Mount Squickhorn has been destroyed. So it's, it's annoying. There are hurdles, certainly. Certainly hurdles. Also, is Grimgore going to go up to Mount Gunbad? All right, let's have a quick look. Uh, 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 Laura Fire. Does that keep moving? I feel like that keeps moving. Why well, I load this? Never mind. Negator and protected. Ah, oh, same ones. Same ones. Uh, what I could do though is see if any of the fifteens are good. Uh, cheaper buildings is nice. But mm, nah, nah, not good enough. Maybe I will just go with Arathon for now. I can always replace him. Alright, Arathond. So they're not recruiting. They're just sat there, which is perfect. Uh, we There are plenty of, um, of regiments renowned we could get. But I don't think I'm going to bother with that just yet. Uh, yeah, maybe just some Northern Sea Guard. Let's get some of those. He did sail here at the end of the day. So uh, let's do that. So the raging Sea God Stromfels has gone missing. Perhaps blown too far south by the arcane tempest that is consuming the world. With his uh, absence, the great ocean is becalmed. The denizens of this world sense an opportunity. It is now no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone. Yeah, we're dominating the seas, all right. <sighs> anyway, others seek to ply the oceans, hunt for treasures and expand their empires abroad. However, they must not mistake a calm sea for a safe one. There are still countless dangers lurking in the deeps. Spoopy. So, um, yeah, so that, that basically lets you meet all the other people who have major ports. Um, any major settlement with a port in it, all of those people now know each other in diplomacy, which, uh, yeah, means you can sort of trade across the world, but we can't do that because this is a brick wall, apparently. So, bit annoying. Bit annoying. Uh, don't need to upgrade that anymore, do we? You guys are... Oh, actually, we do, because I want taxes to go up a bit here. So they do need to be happier. That, and at some point, chaos will turn up and we'll just get, like, a bunch of corruption Magic everywhere, which will be a bit annoying. Uh, so Black Crag will actually have a nice big garrison. So that'll be very fun to fight. And for you, can you get over here and ambush, maybe? Not really. Not, not so much. 
But, I mean, Grimgul might go for this. The only reason he ran that way is because he raised and they just automatically run off in it, like, directly away from there. So this might just mean we're invisible. So he might attack it, although I don't think that'll catch him in the ambush. But he'll waste a lot of movement to get here, and we can then chase him down. Hopefully. Really hope so. Otherwise, we'll just get a bunch of regiments right now. Because, you know, we're earning a bit of cash now. Only a bit, though, mind you. Only a bit. Right. Uh, don't like the look of this, though. Don't like the look of that. Okay, so. Let's take Black Crag. I mean, that'll give us some extra money. I'll just try and save some cash for the next battle. Uh, so, she has, like, rubbish. <laughs> just rubbish spells and things at the moment. But she does have, like... Well, actually saying that, she does have things like Enfeebling Foe and stuff that she has access to. But, uh, you know, those additional ones. But, um, yeah, she's not she's not suited or booted yet. So, But she's got some cool toys on her, I guess. So maybe it'll be fine. But um, this is a bit scary. Oh, but then everyone is armor-piercing. I don't need to worry at all. I, I mean, look at this. Even in melee, the archers have 44 weapon strength. 25 armor-piercing damage. It's ridiculous. God, Brew War, how are you? How? Can you please just give us this all the time? It'd be hilarious. Uh, right, the let's fight it. Alright then. So, also, uh, one thing that I'd like to point out is the uh, skies now. Well, not the skies, the, you know, the ceilings um, on these maps exist. Yeah, all of these, like, old school maps. For some reason, I don't know what it was, maybe just to save on, like, rendering or something? I don't know, but they just had, like, a big black plate. Just a just a square black texture that would sit on top of the map. And you could actually see it if you zoomed in. You could just see slightly over it. It was really weird, and it just stopped you being able to see any of the details on the ceiling. So it just completely, like, ruined the effect of these sort of cavernous areas. It was just like, yeah, just a big black plate. It's just all black up there, don't worry about it. Uh, but this is way better! Actually be able to see the sort of stalic mites? Stalic tights. Stalic mites. Stalic tights. Stalic tights. Because they are holding on tightly. Is that a thing? I really don't know. Seriously, can someone clarify stalic mites or stalic tights? It's, it's a mystery. It is a mystery, that one. I don't think anyone knows. I think the knowledge was lost eons ago. Uh, oh, we've got the Silver and Guard here, of course. Yeah, we got them too. Uh, boop, boop, boop. War Lions. Cool. All right. I don't know who's climbing up. Should we send, uh, send these guys? I'm going to send the Spearmen. And I'm going to send these guys out there. And you know what? Silver and Guard are going to go into the front. You start moving up. You start moving up. Everyone's moving up. Okay, it's like it's like the jam up in here. Okay, come on, boys. Everybody get stuck in. Good lads. Azor Archmage. She has the, the magic to control archways. It's amazing. That's why the architecture is so lovely. In there. You know what? What? Why would I waste my time shooting these guys when I can shoot Black Orcs that are in like the perfect spot to get completely murked? Yeah, look at that. Half unit of Black Orcs. I'm taking it. <laughs> I am taking it. All right, let's attack these arrow boys to stop them shooting for a bit. Are you actually going to climb, or are you just going to look like you're thinking about it? So yeah, that's all good. Wow, we are getting through there pretty quick. Okay, yeah, good lads. Good lads, keeping them busy. Gonna be taking some damage, of course, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I mean, I could, could buff them. Could buff them. That's the thing. My word, we're through. Awesome. <laughs> Don't really want to be fighting in here. Not really. These guys are squishy. We'll be doing some good damage, though. And, uh... This is going to be great, but it'll help. God, armor-piercing values are next to nothing on that these days, huh? 
Jeez, I didn't know it was that bad. This is horrifically bad. All right, come on, War Lions. What are you playing at? Come on, boys. All right, you, you get back up here, all right? You get back up here. The breath type with these guys' names on it. Um, all right. This should help. All right, how's that? How's that, everybody? Brutal. Okay, good. Oh, they actually managed to dodge. Sneaky gets. All right, all right, you lot. Uh, everybody in. <laughs> everybody in. Why the heck not? A bluey. Yeah, not enjoying being sandwiched here. I kind of thought the trolls would die a little quicker. But I'm having none of it, huh? I'm having none of it. Okay, come on. Come on. I want this back. And God, that's a lot of... A lot of black orcs. I know this doesn't do much, but... Still. Gonna, gonna do it. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay, things are looking good for us over here. Only two kills the wall lines. That's really not good, huh? Hey, come on, guys. What's your problem? Get in the place. Alright, back in the sky. Silver and Guard, doing well. Come on. Let's get your other breath attack going, yeah? I know you like breath attacks. Come on, in the sky. In the sky, doing this wrong. Come on. Come on, in the sky. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Or girl. Or girl, who knows. Okay. Oh my god, with the old ball boys. Please stop it. And, oh wow, we know another? Jeez. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a what? It's alright, we'll start them. We'll start them lovely. And let's hit with one of these as well. I know, it does next to nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay, good, good. Okay, deal with them. I don't like how the uh, artillery has been treating us, you know. It's been a real pain. 40 and 50 kills, yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, so, you lot. Oh, no, there's trolls over there. Oh, this is annoying. There's there's quite tough units all over the place. It's very annoying. Oh, yeah, you go over there. Cool. Uh, Alright, one last breath attack. Uh, Silver and Guard are still holding somehow, which is nice. Uh, oh, she's looking a bit bloody, didn't she? Poor girl. Hey, she's done alright. She's done alright. Not great, but all right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually just buff those silvering guard. Come on. a right, girl. That's right. It's a girl now. Okay, go with the trolls. You guys can start running in, I suppose. Go for those black orcs. Ah, yeah, good. You'll deal with them. Excellent. Okay. Weird boast. <laughs> Weird flex. I have win! Alright, alright. I mean, sure, we're in the middle of a battle, but I'm sure I've got, like... I don't know, like some Rennies or something. Alright, come on, you. Come on. 150 kills for war. Not many kills for the war lines. I'm a bit disappointed by the war lines' performance right now, you know. They just weren't getting many hits in, I guess, because they do a lot of damage. It just seems strange how little, uh, little killing they were getting done. And this is sort of... This is a bit much. This is more than I was expecting, frankly. I really wish I had a um, uh, flaming sword of ruin. That'd be great right about now. But hey, at least I can buff them a bit. And... 
Let's do that to clear out some of the low armored bork, bork boys. That's right, bork boys. On account of them going bork bork. Yep. And I can start shooting them. And oh, more of these lads. Oh no no no, Long Sea Guard, you you keep shooting them. That'll be army losses in a second, won't it? Yeah. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Pretty happy with that. Got some killing done. Oh my god, there was still a rock in, in the air. <laughs> After they gave up. They just fired one last shot and ran. If I'd hit end turn, that wouldn't have happened. But no, I thought I'd, I'd go and see see our proud boys. I saw them get crushed instead. That's very upsetting. Poor guys. Oh well. Pyrrhic victory. Taking Black Crag. Okay, so there goes Horse Cub. So that went well. Oh, those spearmen survived. <laughs> That's good news. Bless them. Uh, yeah, a bit disappointed by the white, the war lions there. I'm very surprised they didn't get more killing done. Um, very strange. Very strange. You know, with the anti-infantry and everything? Should have been... Like, they really should have been in their element, but... Uh, nah. Nah. I know, they're better for like a flanking troop, but... Still, you know? Still. There's the raw damage there. Uh, Earthing Rod for no miscast chance. I mean, that's fine. It's never that useful, I find. Um, Alright, let's do... I mean, Flaming Sword of Ruin, I did say, would be lovely to have. But uh, we're just going to be spamming stuff for the most part. Anyway, let's do Burning Head again. Cool. But yeah, not a lot of armor piercing. Piercing bolts would have been lovely against those Black Orcs. So good. Would have been amazing. So yeah, we'll save the money. You hide there. Uh, we can once we've dealt with him, we could swing back round. I'll get another lord here, just a cheap one to go now. But it could—I mean, it's not gonna be Arathon. He's busy, but it, I mean, it could just be any cheap old nonsense. I just won't recruit them again. But I mean, it should be someone we want to keep, really. You know. Let me guess, Negator again. Yeah. Oh, that's a point as well. I could have been using the shadow magic. I hate that there's—it's got the little arrow in the bomb. To, like swap between the laws of magic like it's the only thing that has that just if it's something you get from a trait just stick it on the left I don't care that it has a wind of magic cast, cast and is on the left just stick it on the left so much easier but I guess just that's just how magic works in this game but anyway it's, it's annoying um, so things are looking pretty good over here we don't have walls on it though but we don't have the money to make them either which means I think I just have to ignore that uh, silver helms no those aren't dragon princes. Get out of here. <laughs> Not good enough. Uh, Alright, so. Job done. Mostly. So, guys, we're going to end it here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch out Grimgore next turn. But we've taken all of his most lucrative settlements already. So, yay? So anyway, I guess uh, if there is anyone watching, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.